Okay, so to do this you want to start with three things. A camera, a multi-tool with a knife, and something to discharge the camera with, capacitor with. I chose this because it has a metal tab, and you can see I've already discharged against it several times. Now, to start, what you want to do is you want to use your multi-tool. Get out a nice knife on it. Sorry, I had to adjust my camera here. Get out a knife tool on your multi-tool and then just close it back up. Then start by peeling away at the label on the cameras. This is so you can get at the tabs that reside underneath the labels so you can open up the case. You'll notice I'm popping the tabs now with a knife blade. There's also one on the side and one on the bottom. You may have to go back around and do this several times, as they do pop to get back together very often. Okay, now I'm repeating the process on the bottom in order to open up the camera there, too. Just as a warning, you'll notice on the bottom there's a high voltage sticker that warns do not open. If you're uncomfortable with working with high voltages, please don't try this. Okay, here's the back of the camera. You can see, here's the battery, just the standard alkaline AA, and there's the capacitor. It's harder to see, but make sure you know where it is. Now, carefully rock this back and forth until you get it out of the case. I found that sometimes just pulling doesn't work. You actually have to stretch the case in some places. There we go, I got it open. You can see the flash unit now. It's the only circuit board in the camera. Put the other port pieces off to the side to go to the trash. Okay, so here's the flash unit. You can charge it by pressing the button on the thing. On the flash board, excuse me. Now that it's charged, you can look in there and take out the battery. That'll keep it from recharging once it flashes. Now, taking the knife, I pick it up. And instead of discharging across the capacitor, I set the clicker so that it'll flash when I press the button. There we go. Now the capacitor is discharged, but just to be safe, I also discharge across the capacitor leads. There could still be some high voltage in there. There you go. Now you can see them more closely. Oh, there was some charge. Thank goodness I checked that. Okay, you'll notice that it doesn't come out right away. So you have to take apart part of the aperture, because there's a spring-loaded mechanism in there that triggers the flash unit. Now, taking off the spring, that frees up the flash unit. As you can see, when the spring comes off, the unit comes out very easily. There we go, there's your flash unit. Okay, now on to some interesting things you can do with it. There's the back. Now on to some interesting things you can do with it. You'll notice, I'm putting the battery back in, being very careful to observe polarity. Positive end goes where the two forked ends are on the lead, and the negative on the solid end. Flipping it back over, I use something that charges just to keep my fingers away from any possible shock. I'm listening to hear when the pitch of the, the wine levels out on this, telling me that the capacitor is charged. Now, I'm using my pen to discharge across the capacitor. You can see what a big flash it was. That's a lot of energy. Now this board automatically recharged, so I popped the battery out so I could discharge again without it recharging. There we go, all discharged. You can see on the tip, it's done quite some damage to the pen, because in actuality, those sparks you see are plasma of vaporized metal.
Now, if you wish to fire the flash, just charge, and then press something metal across those two pieces of metal you see sticking out from the side of the board. Those are what the camera uses to trigger the flash. Just make sure when you're done to, to lay something across the capacitor leads to fully discharge the capacitor. Alright, well, that's all you need to know. Now, just to be safe and to make sure that the capacitor has no charge and cannot gain a charge because capacitors will regain their charge over time, place it short across the capacitor. This will ensure that, not, that no energy will be regained by the capacitor. Now I'm trying to make a railgun unit. So here you can see I've gotten eight or so flash units that I've taken apart. I'm going to be using their capacitors as well as one charging unit from the board in order to make this railgun. It's going to have a lot of energy. So here are eight, all eight flash units. Seven of them are from Kodak cameras. I found that they are the easiest to disassemble and get the flash units from. And here's all the camera parts. These you can either send to a plastic recycler or even keep them if you want them or just throw them out. Okay, well that's how you disassemble these cameras. Good luck with your projects.